Hi, I'm Chef Tobias, and this is Fairmont Heights TV. It's Ricky Rick on the I can confuse the co wash and yeah. We got the juice yeah. this day every school. We talk about sports and that daily report. Ball. Make a big plays in the field on, on the court. Fair my eyes when we coming up short. Nah, nah. Hell, I find out like we even the score. 8 a.m. when we walk, walk in the door. A's and B's will hunt us good Hey, Temple, didn't you meet Chef Tobias? How'd that go? Oh my, yes, I did meet Chef Tobias. Thank you for asking. It was so amazing. Me and DeMarco went up there with Crawford, and we was at Victory Restaurant in Maryland, you know, over there by the Chipotle and the Home Depot. Yeah, I know you know. I know you know. Anyway, yeah. And um, no, I actually didn't get to eat because the restaurant didn't open till five, and we had to hurry up and interview him, so we didn't get to eat. But but besides all that, you know, he's like famous, kind of sort of. He's verified on Instagram. Um, oh, gee, like he meet. Chris Brown, James Harden, he looked for all of them playing in the field. Like, it was just so amazing. I got to take the picture with him. That's like the most important part. And yeah. Why are you talking so fast? Right. Slow down. Are you okay? How you doing? I'm Chef Tobias. Welcome to Victory, Maryland. Meet Chef Tobias. On Wednesday, September 2nd, our very own aspiring chef DeMarco Henson had the pleasure of conducting an interview with up-and-coming celebrity chef and former NFL running back Tobias Dorza. I'm here with Chef Tobias, a brand new restaurant, Victory, Maryland, located in Bowie. And yeah, I just came to talk to you. See how you was raised, see about the culture. Yes, sir. Else. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So tell me, what part of you were born here, I heard. You were born in Maryland? So um from <laughs> I'm from, I was born in PG, uh, Montgomery County. Okay. I moved to PG County when I was eleven and I was I was raised in Riverdale, Maryland, where I went to Parkdale High School. Prior to the opening of his restaurant in his hometown, Tobias first owned the Victory Restaurant and Lounge in Miami, Florida. So how is that, being able to come back home and open a restaurant? Because I know you got a restaurant in Miami. That seems like it's doing well. Oh, man, uh, it's a, you know, it's a blessing. Like, um, me and my business partner, my business partner, Ricardo Young, he's from this area, too. Uh -huh. uh, he went to H.D. Woodson at uh, D.C. school, you know. Oh. Sorry to hear that. But he went, <laughs> he went to a D.C. school, but we, um, this is actually our second location. We actually have a third location coming in D.C. I heard um, about that one, too. Tobias is living his dream, making amazing food and being a personal chef for numerous professional athletes and other celebrities, including basketball players like James Harden and artists like Chris Brown. He's also appeared on TV shows such as Guy's Grocery Games on Food Network, leaving as the champion on multiple occasions. He's doing all this while simultaneously inspiring young chefs of color such as DeMarco. He even took the time to ask DeMarco about his goals and aspirations. How long you been cooking? Um, I've been cooking probably about, I'm going to say, six or seven years. Anybody probably. inspired you or you just something that you just like to do? My grandmother, before she died, we would go fishing and she would come home and we would just okay, cook. Okay. And yeah, so I think she the main reason I started cooking. So it's something that you want to do or it's something that you know you just, it, 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 you wanted to pass time? I think I want to do that for a living. I thought about opening a restaurant. Okay. I'll tell you right now, like, you know, uh, I'm 35 and I, I've been doing this, like, Full time, far as a chef for the past eight years, and this is the first year that I've owned a restaurant. Like, the restaurant business is something that, you, with, with everything you know, everything that, that ends up being good, you have to take your time with. You know, you always want to put your best foot forward every single time. It don't matter. Like, you know, you're playing football, you're playing basketball, you'd be like, oh, you're going to get this work? Everybody that I put a dish out for, regardless on who it is, they're going to get this work. Point went. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. I just want to thank you for your time. Nah, no it's problem, Fairmont no High problem, School. man. We got you a Fairmont Heights mask. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I, I run through masks, so, man, this will be perfect, man. You know, and because we didn't play against y'all, I don't have no beef with y'all. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm a Parkdale Panther, but uh -huh. we didn't play against y'all, so I have no beef with y'all. So I definitely, you know, wear this mask, and I support this mask, and I just want to say honestly, like, if cooking is what you want to do, Man, anything that you want to do in life, man, I just want you to like understand it, that life comes with a grind, it comes with ups, it comes with downs. But it also comes with faith. 
And without faith, Agreed. Like, you, you'll have nothing. So whatever you do, whatever it end up that you end up doing, just make sure that you put your all into it and know the purpose of what you're actually doing it for. The full interview will be uploaded later to our YouTube page. Um, definitely just try to finish getting me that B-roll. And let's start thinking about next week because this is, you know, it's we're going to feel the pressure because we got to move faster. Um, On 9-11, I was a freshman in college, just a few days in. Um, we woke up that morning to my roommate's mother calling him, telling him to turn on the television. That's when it happened. The second plane hit right in front, and you're just numb. You're just looking like this is not reality right now. Jules, this is Ryan, uh, listen, on an airplane that's been hijacked. My, uh, commander saying that I had to report to Fort Meade, uh, military base. that followed, I, uh, I joined a Marine Corps officer commissioning program, and I eventually left school and joined the Marine Corps. This is a day when all Americans from every walk of life unite in our resolve for justice and peace. Who you got for the weekly update this week? Because you know it's usually dry and then I mean, more dry, yeah. and, 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 and more dry, desert I agree. And dry. Y'all gonna no stop? Water. No water. Y'all, <laughs> y'all gonna stop coming for the weekly update? No. I think yeah. I think it's I got coming somebody. Coming for itself. Water, water, simple. I think water. I got. I think I got somebody good for this week. Good morning. I'm Miss Cleveland, and I'm Mr. Cody, and this, and this is your weekly, weekly update. update. Let me fix my hair. Oh, wow. I know. Thank you. You I'm know I good. shaved it all off. Dimples. Virtual learning programs such as Credit Recovery, Original Credit, and Blended Learning started this week. That's right, students. If you need to earn credit towards graduation, contact Miss McCoy Hill. She already emailed everyone with flyers on how to register. Get the credits. You know you need to register. Get the credits. Hey, Hornet. We have a few more new teachers who would like to introduce themselves. Let's take a look. Hello, everyone. I am Felix Eze and I'm new to Fremont Heights High School. I will be teaching biogeochemical systems and anatomy and physiology. I am looking forward to a successful school year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Raheem Russell. I'm a new ISEA in the regional wing. Three things about me that you should know is I love spending time with my family, I love spicy food, and I love to travel. Let's go Hornets. Diagnostic assessments will take place this week for the following subjects. 
English 11, English 12, seniors. And for math, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, geometry, shapes and things, quantitative modeling, ESOL, newcomer, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. For social studies, U.S. history, LSN government, and world history. Science, biology, biogeochemical systems, chemistry. As of September 2nd, meal pickup for all students will be free from now until December 31st. Meals will also be delivered to many communities by school bus on Mondays and Wednesdays between 10 and 1 p.m. A list of delivery locations by city can be found on the PTCPS website. You will also find more information about meal delivery days, locations, and any other important updates or changes. Families with students who receive meals through our free and reduced price school meals program must reapply at the beginning of every school year. We get up early in the morning. We know school uniforms are not required during distance learning, but please dress appropriately. If you are unable to attend scheduled classes, your parents must communicate the reason via email to all of your classroom teachers. Also, please see the final reopening plan on the PGCPS website for full details regarding the attendance policy. Are you like Nick? PDCPS continues to cover the cost of the Comcast Internet Essentials Program. Please call our Parent Center Hotline at 240-696-3315 or email pdcps.family at pdcps.org. Peer Group Connection, or PGC, is currently recruiting 11th and 12th graders to participate in its mentoring program. If you are interested, please contact Ms. Elvis for further details. And again, I'm Mr. Cody. And I'm Ms. Cleveland. And this was your weekly update. Please subscribe to FHHS TV on YouTube or Instagram. I didn't want the subscribe button to hit her in the face. There it is. Click it. Click the button. You can do it. Click it now. Now for a message from our principal, Ms. Walker. Good morning, students, staff, and members of the Fairmont Heights family. I am Principal Walker. I like to say that I am the proud leader of Fairmont Heights High School, where I am leading adults to lead students to greatness every day, even though we are virtual. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce myself and to welcome everyone back for another exciting school year. Fairmont Heights has been my home for eight years. I am a proud member of this community. My staff is working hard to continue to preserve our reputation as PG County's best kept secret. They are working tirelessly to make sure you are receiving a high quality education online. This year, our theme is we can do all things virtually. As we come to the end of our second week of distance learning, I know this experience has been difficult, but I am here to tell you that we will get through it with pointed pride. Students, with these new challenges comes new opportunities for greatness and learning. Here are a few tips to keep in mind. Create a schedule for yourself and stick to it. Give yourself time to wake up, eat, dress appropriately. Log into your classes early and focus your mind towards learning. Get up and move throughout the day. Stay active and get some fresh air. Step out of your comfort zone and find ways to enjoy this experience. It's not all that bad. Communicate with your teachers and participate in class. Make the most out of this situation. Give your teachers feedback and help them to become better educators. This is new for all of us. And lastly, be your own advocate. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourselves and others who need help. Parents, you are an active part of the Fairmont Heights family. Just know we are only a phone call or email away. My administrators and counselors are always available to talk 
and help solve any issues that may arise during this time. Frequently check our school website for the up-to-date information and follow us on social media. Have a great school year on purpose. Is she done? Oh, I think so. I don't know. Have a great day on purpose. Peace.